Guys, today is arguably one of the scariest days in the crypto market. I posted a video earlier talking about the crypto market and some coins that I believe people should buy now. So if you are new around here, make sure you check out that video after this one. Today, we're going to be talking about Pancake Bunny. And it's honestly so devastating and so sad to see this happening. We're going to talk about what Pancake Bunny is, what happened today, and how they lost a billion dollars it's crazy, but let's get right into this. Before we continue, I want to say if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you're a returning subscriber and you want to get my crypto and stock market buy sell alerts, you can do so linked down below. Now, guys, let's talk about Pancake Bunny, okay? Pretty much this is similar to Pancake Swap in the sense that they have pools where you can pretty much have insane APYs, okay? We're looking at 200 or pretty much 300 percent apy uh, and again you can stake tokens such as cake tokens bunny tokens uh, there are also pools as well like you can have pairs and you can stake those again very very cool uh, and it's very very i guess useful and a lot of people it's like this is essentially like i guess the second best thing after pancake swap and they have a binance smart chain pool they have an eth pool that's coming soon and they just have a lot of stuff going on and you know Binance Labs, like this isn't, you know, some fake thing. This is well established. This is actually something proper. But again, today they absolutely went to shit. Okay, so let's talk about it. So we can see here they tweeted attention bunny fam. Our project has suffered a flash loan attack from an outside exploiter. We will be posting a post-mortem as if someone got murdered or something in-depth analysis but for the time being we would like to update the community as to how this happened so this is a article talking about you know what a flash loan is so a flash loan involves an attacker receiving a loan from a DeFi protocol spending the loaned capital and returning it all within the same smart contract transaction so the entirety of the loan occurs in one transaction and it doesn't require any sort of collateral so pretty much anyone can obtain a flash loan without collateral just by covering the fees involved okay so pretty much you assume very little risk when you do this uh, again let's go back to their twitter so pretty much the hacker used PancakeSwap to borrow a huge amount of BNB. Now, I'm not too sure how exactly that happened. It was probably some sort of exploit or something like that. The hacker then went on to manipulate the price of US dollar tether, so USDT slash BNB, as well as Bunny BNB. Again, I don't know how that actually is possible. Uh, if there are updates, I'll be sure to make a video or once we learn more about this, if you guys are interested and you guys want me to dive deep into this, I will do that. The hacker ended up getting a huge amount of bunny. <coughs> so they got a huge amount of bunny with this flash loan. The hacker then dumped all the bunny in the market, causing the bunny price to plummet. And when I say plummet, I mean plummet. Uh, I'll show you guys the price in a bit. And you guys can see the hacker paid back the BNB through PancakeSwap because this is a flash loan. It all happened quickly. Uh, the BSC scan is right here. Honestly, I don't even know how to properly read it, but I'll show you guys. Uh, and you guys can see everyone is just sad. And guys, the worst part is most people, I mean, I don't think anyone is going to be able to get their money back. Uh, due to the fact that this is all on the blockchain, this is all a smart contract, uh, you know, this isn't like the stock market where the SEC can just jump in or something can just come back and give money. Uh, I don't see why, I don't see how anyone could get their money back. Uh, are the funds safe? Well, we do know that the BNB has been returned, but we don't know where that BNB even came from. All we know is that they got a bunch of BNB loaned out from PancakeSwap, which again is very unclear as to how that happened. So if you are investing in this project, honestly, it's scary like it, it's scary because stuff like this can happen you know there's no regulations around crypto there's no rules anyone can pretty much do anything in this world and honestly i'm not here to you know talk crap about the project uh, i think the project is such a cool project and honestly i was looking very deeply into this too but uh it's crazy to think i don't know if people will be getting their money back i'm not going to say 100 percent no one is going to get their money back 100 percent this is you know a scam a rug pull anything like that uh, i'm just presenting you the, the information that i know okay uh, and also if you guys have any new information please do let me know down in the comments now another thing is uh, we can take a look at the uh, uh the bsc scan and we can pretty much see i guess Again, I don't know how to even read this, but we can see what has been going on. Uh, another thing is they have also tweeted that, uh, uh, what do you call it? They tweeted that their engineering team is working on the issue and making progress. In the meantime, they are temporarily pausing, pausing deposits, okay? Uh, another thing is, guys, uh, we can take a look over here at, I guess, the token info, and we can see the price. It says $147, but it's down to 8 
dollars okay uh, if we even take a look at coin market cap let me quickly show you guys if we actually take a look at bunny it, the, the information is not accurate on coin market cap okay uh, on coin market cap it says it's still at 85 dollars remember guys this was literally like it started the day trading at what 200 and something dollars and to see it already plummet down to eight dollars is insane now we can see this article over here a yield optimizer project built on the binance smart chain has suffered an exploit that resulted in one billion dollars being drained from its smart contract the token price dropped more than 97 percent and again we can see um in a single transaction they drained bunny of roughly one billion exchanging a flash loan loot to bnb Binance pegged USDT and other tokens via pancake swap. So again, very, very sad, especially since they raised $1.6 million from Binance Labs. So they are backed by Binance Labs. Uh, we can see at its peak, it had over $10 billion in total value locked. So honestly, guys, very, very sad to see today, uh, especially considering I'm sure everyone had their portfolios absolutely massacred today. And this honestly just adds more fuel to the fire. Very, very sad day today. Uh, honestly, guys, all I can say is if you still think bunny is a good project buying bunny at eight dollars seems like an absolute bargain and a no-brainer to me if i do decide to purchase bunny i'll obviously let you guys know if you're in my stock market or crypto alerts if you're not you can join down below uh but honestly guys this is just crazy uh the whole markets are down right now there's so many buying opportunities and it's just insane guys i'm trying to still process everything because i'm looking at my portfolio I'm, i've lost over five figures in the past 24 hours and i'm like okay this is uh not fun but that's pretty much it with Pancake Bunny, guys. And again, by no means am I hating on the project, am I hating on the community. Uh, I'm simply just presenting the facts that I'm able to see with some quick research. And hopefully this video uh, was appreciated by you guys. So if you guys enjoy, leave a like, drop some comments down below. Let's give each other some words of encouragement. And until next time, guys, remember, stay seeking success.